Hello and welcome to Elden Ring. I'm Shadow Coast, and in this video we're going to show you how to gain 35 levels in less than 30 minutes. Having played a fair amount of Elden Ring, I found it easier to start a new character to try a different build. However, starting a new character takes time and energy, and after some desk research I found this method. I'm not sure who found this originally, but big thank you, and wanted to outline this quick method of killing the big dragon at Fort Ferrith to gain over 90,000 runes. To demonstrate this, you're going to see a timer in the top right. I have done some video editing to make this video as short as possible while outlining hopefully exactly everything I've done so you can replicate it. I also rolled a level 1 wretch without a talisman to demonstrate how this will work. To begin, there are two key items we need. The first is the flail which we can find at the gatefront ruins. So we're going to head over there, but before we do, we're going to stop at the Church of Ella to unlock the grace point which is critical. Now outside to the right, there's some golden runes you're going to want to pick up. Effectively, we can consume these to gain runes, which we're going to need, at least on our wretch, to get to Dexterity 13, which we'll outline later. Now I'm going ahead and taking out a few enemies on the way for some runes, and that's because I need 200 to purchase a torch to make it easier to demonstrate something I'm going to do a little later in this video in 4th Ferrith. Now I'm going to go ahead and head to the southernmost point here to grab this grace point. Now, once you grab four grace points, you can actually sit down and trigger a conversation. This is very important because if you accept this individual's help, you will obtain Torrent, your trusty steed, which you definitively want to follow along this video. I'm going to take out this guard and get the flail here. You can see that I need Dexterity 18. Don't worry, we're going to pick up a talisman. Now, I'm going to teleport back to the first step. That's our first outdoor grace point, and I'm going to run off the cliff here. I'm not going to die. I'm going to pick up the chicken foot, and from here, I'm actually going to jump uh, on the airwaves to get back. Now, we're going to head down to the Dragon Burnt Ruins. So here, follow along closely. We're going to run and jump, go down in tunnel, open a door, and then open a chest. That's going to teleport us to a totally different location. So down here, I'm going to dismount and run. Now, you might die a few times. Just keep at it. Open the door open the chest, keep clicking your interact button so you get here. Now we're going to go down, left, and around, dodging enemy fire. There is a grace point down here, so be sure to capture it. Then you can see here on the map, we're going to take a quick detour because we're going to get a somber a smithing stone here in Kaled, or this little tunnel area here. Um, so grab that. At least I found it helpful. Now we're going to get back on track. So we're going to go around through the Aeonian Swamp, or Swamp of Aeonia, whatever it's called. And on the way here, in this ruins, you're going to want to stop and pick this up, especially if you're wretch, because you're not going to have any um, clothing. So we just picked up some clothing, which is fantastic. Grab this grace point here, and let's continue on our way up and around. Now we're going to go up and around. Now this next part is pretty important. So we're going to come to a little kind of flame burnt wall. I'm just equipping real quick some of the gear so I'm not naked. So here in this burnt wall there's a little opening hole and you're going to go through there and you're going to stick to the right because there are a bunch of tombs here where you can pick up golden runes. Again we're going to want these because we're going to need to get to dexterity 13. Now if you look at the flail it said dexterity 18. The reason that we only need 13 to add three points as a wretch in this area is because we're going to get an awesome talisman in Fort Ferrith. It's going to give us plus 5 vigor, strength, and dexterity, allowing us to use the flail, which will be critical in taking out this giant white dragon. As we're heading up here, you can see this is the giant dragon that we're going to take out. I'm sorry, you look in pain. We're going to end your pain, and in return, going to get a bunch of runes. Now, I took it aside to get some materials and other things here, so editing there. We're going to run in here and go straight through. You're going to see a little lantern or lamp here torch and lantern climb up and be sure to grab the chest here this is the I believe right half of the uh, Dacus medallion let's see here yep right there you're gonna get it um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that Dacus now over here we're gonna run and jump in the second hole and we're gonna turn and then jump across so come over here jump across just like I did I'm gonna dodge the rats come down and around and get the Radagon Sword Seal. This is very important. Now, just let yourself die here because you're not going to be able to beat these enemies if you're a level 1 wretch like me. We're going to go ahead and equip this seal, and in equipping the seal and leveling up to level 13 Dexterity, we're going to be able to equip the Flail. With the Flail equipped, I'm going to two-hand it and run over to the Dragon. Now, be sure to pick this specific location because it works efficiently. 
And now we're just going to use our skill. So that's F or control and right mouse button on mouse and keyboard. And I believe a left trigger on controller. I'm playing mouse and keyboard, so please correct me if I get the controller command wrong. Again, we are dual or two handing this weapon and we are going to rinse and repeat. We're going to keep doing this. Now, if you look at the top left here, after we've hit her about 10 or 12 times, we're going to do 13,000 damage. We're going to jump up. This is a unique aspect of, I believe, bleed damage. Please correct me if I'm wrong. It'll allow you to take out the dragon. So rinse and repeat. This will take about five or so minutes to do if you're efficient. Now, before you kill this big dragon, make sure that you consume your special chicken foot because that is going to boost your room gain. So here we're going to go use it in the inventory, use it, and make sure you see that little um, extra buff here under your stamina bar, that little chicken foot, and let's take out this dragon. And once we do, you're going to see that we're going to gain, I believe, 64,999. But you're going to see that we're actually going to jump up to the 90,000 uh, rune range, and that's because we have our trusty chicken foot, which is going to augment our rune gain. So you see there, we are at... 90,000 plus. I actually think it's like 90, 95,000 um, or more. So we're going to go ahead and level up here just to show you how many levels we can go. And there you have it. 35 levels in less than 30 minutes. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a thumbs up and hope to see you in future videos. And let me know in the comments other tips and tricks you have for quick leveling. Shout out Ghost Out.